Hi everyone and welcome to this reading on the subject of your post-lockdown experience, your post-lockdown opportunities, insights and just basically anything that you might need to inspire you moving forward. So I hope everyone's staying well and feeling nice and calm out there and yeah so just have a look at the three cards, see which one you feel drawn to. We've got Amber, Auburn and Rainbow. And once you've decided which one you feel really called to, just click on the corresponding link below the timestamps, in the timestamps, and um, it will take you to your reading. OK, hope you enjoy this one. Take care. Bye. Oh, yeah. And let me know in the comments below whether you enjoyed the reading, whether it resonated for you, and also how you're doing. Just say hi. I always like to hear from you. OK, thanks. Bye. OK, so if you chose the Amber card, um, the message, the main message of that card is awaken your creativity. So a part of your experience coming out of lockdown is going to be to admit to yourself that there is something creative that you want to do and to pursue it further. So it could be that you've spent a lot of time um, when you've had the opportunity to contemplate things and to just step back from what you have been doing up until now. You might have had some realisations about what you're really wanting to do with your life, what you're really wanting to pursue, or you might have actually discovered a new creative hobby and you might decide that you're going to take it forward with you um, in your life when you leave this um, strange period that we're going through. So this is a message to encourage you to do that, to awaken your creativity or to remain on the creative path that you might have already begun because you've already got your on the right path so it actually makes sense that having time to withdraw, time to contemplate things very deeply, you would have managed to get in touch with a deeper layer of your truth, your inner truth, your inner wisdom and real clarity about what you're going to want um, to move into going forward now. And you've got right next to the card that says you're on the right path, decide to be happy now. So it could be that you've been holding yourself back thinking that um, you don't deserve to do what you really, really love to do as a career or that it's just not possible for you to do that or you're not being realistic. But this is actually encouraging you to follow through on anything that you've discovered in this quiet period, anything that you've discovered about what really makes you happy, what really makes your life feel meaningful and exciting. And next to that, the card of that says decide to be happy, you've got consult an expert. So it might be that you need more information before you go ahead um, or it might be that you need some sort of training that you need to work with someone who knows a bit more about um, how to pursue your new insights your new career that's developed as a result of your insights and um, it could be something that you've wanted to do for a really long time and you've resisted doing it because it didn't seem practical or because it didn't seem sensible or because you didn't think you deserved it but now you're at a point where you might actually be thinking that it would be a good idea to get some training or to get some advice or to hire um, someone to, to coach or mentor you through it and to show you how it might be possible. You might want to join a group. You you know, an expert doesn't have to be one person. It could be a group of people. It could be a, a night class. It could be just about anything really that involves going to someone else or a group of people with expertise in the area that you wish to develop. For some it could be a spiritual path because you've got next to that the card that says accept heaven's help. So some people will have increased their ability to connect with their angels and guides and to pray um, in a really meaningful and purposeful way and as a result of that you will find a lot of the solutions coming to you now a lot of the answers a lot of the guidance that you've been looking for about how to pursue what's really your dream 
but you still might be experiencing some mental conflict about it. It still might take a while for your angels and guides to convince you that it's okay for you to go forward on this path, that it's important to do what you love, to do it now and to embrace every moment, you know, in this playground of life, just to really, really go for it, to go forward and to to trust that it's okay for you to have what you want. In fact, it's more than okay. And um, to just take advantage of the energy while it's actually there, because it's very easy after this period to get sucked back into doing things, you know, the old way, the way that you thought they were okay to do them, the way you thought it was okay to, to go about things before the lockdown, before the period of, of contemplation or for some awakening. And this is really a message that's asking you not to do that, to just stay very clear and very clearly connected to what you've learnt in this period and to not be drawn away from it too easily. You have waves of prosperity and abundance coming in as a result of following your true path of trusting your heart. And there may there may be a period of planning involved, uh, planning that needs to happen before you feel you can really take hold of things and move forward. But that's still an important part of your journey. And don't let that slow you down. Don't let it delay you and don't get distracted by all the details don't use that as another way of procrastinating and and deliberating for a bit too long over what you've chosen to do because we've seen how quickly things can change we, we've seen how quickly it can feel as if we're running out of time so make the most of what you've learned now You've also got the final card that you've got there is the card of awareness. And it's just another reminder that the awareness that you've developed recently about who you are, what you came here for, what you really want to do with your life and what really, really, really makes you happy in the moment is very, very important in exiting this period. It's very important for you to allow that to be a part of your strategy for leaving, for beginning your new life, for starting again, starting out on a new path, for doing things differently. So hopefully you've gained a lot of insights about exactly what it is that needs to change, whether that's personally, whether that's professionally, whether it's spiritually, emotionally, however things need to change in your life for you to be truly, truly happy. This is a message that's saying, please hold on to that awareness. Please remember that even even when things begin to get busy again or, you know, social lives come back or, you know, things just other things just start to, to take over and life gets in the way. Hold on to what you've learnt and allow it to be a part of your new reality. And um, and it's going to be a really, really interesting time for you going forward because you're really being given the go ahead, being given the green light from spirit to, to go ahead on your path and to trust yourself and to trust that you are on the right path when you're really, really happy, when you're doing what you love. OK, so that's it for group number one the amber group i hope you enjoyed your message um, take care stay happy stay safe stay in a high positive vibration and um all the links are below if you'd like to get in touch with me and work with me okay bye okay so if you chose the auburn group the main message of the card uh, of the auburn card is to ground yourself to get really really grounded and um and to just move forward with clarity and with a, a really um, strong perspective on life, on what you want to be your new reality going forward. And uh, I think this is going to be a bit of a theme in all of the messages, but the emphasis in this one is to really stay very centred within yourself. You've got the solar plexus chakra as well, which is very connected with your personal power, your inner strength, your ability to, to guide your own destiny, to feel in charge, to be able to operate from a a position of your own will and you've also got the, right next to that the card of patience so you've got groundedness and patience two cards that are really saying that you need to have a very solid plan going forward you need to have a really strong set of strategies for moving you out of this phase and into the next phase of your life you're also being asked to wait 
before you leap into action, which is really interesting because you've got patience and you've got weight and you've got ground yourself. So it could be that um, you're one of those energies that that really didn't enjoy being locked down. For some people, it was it was the best thing that could have ever happened. It was um, it was a very peaceful time. It was a time of reflection. And for others, it's been very fraught and they felt very caged in and very restricted. And it could be that you are someone who's just raring to go. You've got lots of ideas, lots of things that you really want to get off the ground and do very quickly. But you're being asked to actually stay calm, <laughs> get back in touch with some of the feelings that you were forced to face in that period of, of um, you know, of, of peace and reflection and to allow that perspective to guide you forward rather than doing anything too hastily. Some of you have got something going on around you where things are not as clear as you'd like them to be. Things are not as above board as you'd like them to be. There could be some deception around you. There could be something that's making you feel a little bit anxious or frustrated about where you are at the moment. And this could be one of the things that's pushing you forward and making you want to make a hasty decision. So this spread, looking at it all together, it sort of looks a little bit like, you know, someone who's been in a situation that was actually very difficult and they got stuck there in the lockdown and you know, it, it just made things a lot worse because it reduced your choice even more. Um, or it could just be that you'd started to get something off the ground and because of the lockdown, it ground to a halt. And now you're raring to go to get back out into the world again to make things happen. But what this spread seems to be saying is slow down, breathe you know, try to see the blessing in what's just happened. You've also got tranquility next to wait. So <laughs> it's just bizarre. There are so many cards here telling you to just breathe, slow down, take your time, don't rush at things. I also feel this has something to do with the um, some some energy of it could be deception and envy, but it might not be that literal. It might just be, I mean, the the feeling that you get from this card is that there's someone around you or some um, uh, organisation in your life or some group of people around you who are just watching you just with that little bit of um, suspicion or envy or, or who are not being completely above board with you. But it could be self-deception. It could be that you're not really clear about what you want to do yet. And that's why you're being asked to just take a bit more time, breathe through it, you know, give yourself that uh, time to just relax and continue to stay, you know, in a really calm state to, to indulge in self-care and to take your steps very, very slowly. Um, you've also got eternal love and you're being asked to see everything um, through the eyes of love. And that doesn't mean that when things around you are um, very hard to forgive, that you automatically forgive them and forget and and suppress your own feelings because that is not healthy at all. What it does mean is if you can turn your your view inward and look at the higher plan for your life, connect with your feelings about what this phase has brought to you in terms of new learnings, new perspectives, new understandings about your situation. If you can can do that and you can rise above everything that's happening that's that's maybe frustrating you, you will be able to see much more clearly that there is a very powerfully loving force guiding your life. You've got right next to that, God is in charge. So to me, those cards are very powerful together because, yes, eternal love can be connected to an eternal love of the the eternal love of one person, a partner, a soulmate, a twin flame, but in this spread, to me, it looks very much as if it's connected to just really understanding that everything is being guided by love. Ultimately, that's the place that we're all returning to. So anything that happens along the way that does not feel that loving, that doesn't feel that great, is still coming from a higher place of. Uh, of love that is actually the guiding principle for everything. So don't feel that you immediately have to understand this, but just allow yourself to see that that might be possible and you'll find it much easier 
to understand some of the things that you've experienced and to try not to rush, try not to rush into things or, and try not to be rushed into things either. I feel for some people in this group, you know, there might be people around you who are trying to force you into a situation before you're quite ready for it. And if you do allow that to happen, you could end up making a misstep. You could end up doing something before you're quite ready for it. And, um, and, and it will end up being not quite the right decision. So for some, there could be a move, a house move, a career move, a relationship move, any of those things. But you just might not be ready yet to do anything in practical terms or you might not have all the pieces in place yet. So just trust yourself. You've also got father healing. And the message says your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. So I'll let you decide what that's about. For some of you, it will be about a, a sort of, you know, taking your power back, a coming of age, a healing of past wounds. And, you know, just looking at the whole spread together and this need to move forward and to make changes on your own uh, terms, you know, like the solar plexus taking control of your life again. For some, it does look as if if there is a period of, you know, awakening that has been connected with maybe phases where you've given your power away because of those unhealed parts connected to a father issue. And it's it, healing takes time. And it could be that you're still in the middle of that healing. But having said that, it looks like a really, really powerful time. So when you move through this phase, if you do take your time, make the right decisions um, and trust in this higher principle of love that guides everything, your time after this will be nothing like what you had before. You're coming to a time where you will begin to believe in yourself again and where you will be able to make real progress in your life, progress that that is really meaningful to you and you will be able to achieve things that no one will be able to take away from you because you will be ready to empower yourself with, you know, not needing anyone else's approval, not needing to lean on anyone for anything. So that's really exciting. And um, for you, that's the most important lesson of the lockdown, I think, the empowerment. So ground yourself and don't don't be too quick to leap uh, to, to um, satisfy other people's whims or, um, you know, any kind of pressure that you're being put on, put under. OK, that's it. Um, Auburn group hope you enjoyed that reading and um, yes have a great have a great time for the rest of 2020 I hope things are much better for you it looks as if they will be and it looks as if this has been a really important time for you so take care and if you would like to work with me just have a look at the links below all right bye okay and if you chose the rainbow card your message the main message of this card is to connect with spirit in nature so you could be really, really needing to get out more. It could be that even though it's okay to go out, as they say, you still haven't really been allowing yourself to enjoy that freedom, um, especially when it comes to just going out for enjoyment, you know, going out to a park, going out and sitting beside the river, just going out and breathing in the air and, and um, you know, getting close to the trees and reconnecting with, with that lovely, natural, organic, life so that's one of your messages um, to as we emerge from this situation to really take advantage of every opportunity that's out there to connect with nature connect with the natural world this situation is already resolved so there's something that you're asking about something that you're concerned about in terms of your new life and how it looks your your life as you emerge from all of this and your inner guidance is real and trustworthy is the card right next to that. So, you know, what that coupling is actually saying is you already know the answer to this. You already know the answer. So please stop second guessing yourself. I'll just lift that up a bit so you can see the cards a bit better. Just stop. <clears throat> stop second guessing yourself and start to trust your inner guidance. Trust what you've discovered um, about yourself and about what you want to do. And just ask for guidance, ask for help to see things more clearly. Also, affirmations are going to be very powerful for you. 
powerful for you, very important for you. Um, they can, they are so powerful, they can change everything if you actually stick with them, if you make them a habit, make them a part of your routine. And you also have a message that you are being protected. So it's important to know that whatever happens as you leave, it could be for some of you that actually you feel a bit weird going out. And I know that that is the case for some people, that they can't quite get their heads around the idea that they can go out and do things and, you know, go and have a picnic and, and things like that. But um, it's going to take you a time, a while to adjust to these things and give yourself all the time you need, you know. Just give yourself time to adjust emotionally and mentally to all these new changes. You've also got the card of hope. So something very hopeful actually is going to happen when you leave this period. Something that you didn't imagine was possible. In other words, it looks as if things have been completely shut down. But I feel that there's something that you were hoping for before the shutdown that is actually still hovering on the periphery of your life and hasn't gone away. And you've got, yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So you've got two cards telling you that you can trust your guidance. Trust your guidance, especially when it comes to things that you were hoping to manifest beforehand and that you thought, you know, you might have given up hope on because you have the card of hope. There is hope. There is so much to hope for here. Um, there is so much still about to materialise. Your life hasn't gone away. Your life hasn't gone anywhere. Your life is still there. And all the things that you cared about before, all the things that you hoped for, wished for, dreamed of, they are still there. This is a really great message, actually. That's the message that, that I'm being asked to give to you. And also, you know, it can help you. So it, it's great that you've chosen the rainbow and you've also got the card of hope. That's fantastic. So there's everything for you to to dream of now coming out of this period and going forward and um, yes there is there has been a lot of disruption it has disrupted you a great deal there's no you know denying it and um, you've had a lot of things coming up but as a result of this it's allowed you to heal parts of yourself that were not helping you anyway. The shadow side, parts of you that were hiding away, um, disrupting you, sabotaging you, stopping you from going forward. They've been coming up to be healed and you're being asked to continue to acknowledge where you might be holding yourself back. You know, where you might not be seeing those opportunities, where you might allow yourself to fall into that hopelessness. And again, I'm just being drawn back to the affirmations and I'm being asked to, to mention those again because they are incredibly powerful and they can help you to guide, to reprogram yourself, reprogram your mind, guide your steps going forward now as you come up out of this period so that you can feel that hopefulness once again and begin to actually move towards the goals and the dreams that you let go of temporarily. Um, the main message is here that it's only temporary and that this too shall pass. And when it does, you have a great deal of hope, a great deal of hope, hopefulness. And you can actually gain a lot of strength from being in nature. Allow it to lift you up and to re restore you and to restore your hope as well. Because going into the end of the year and next year, things look a lot brighter. They look a lot more hopeful. Um, there will be adjustments that need to be made, for sure. But... There's also a great deal of promise and a great deal to, to hope for and to begin to restructure. It's possible that your your thoughts and feelings about how you go about your work have changed anyway, but that's all good. Um, most things are um, adaptable, okay, and that's what you need to be at the moment. Be adaptable, um, work on your mind, work with your affirmations, work on clearing things that come up and just train yourself to be as hopeful as possible and all will be well. Okay, that's it um, for the third group, the rainbow group. I hope you enjoyed that. Take care and um, I will be in touch again soon. You can click on the links below the video if you would like to find out more about how to work with me. And until we speak again, take good care. Bye.